Kristen and welcome or welcome back to my channel before we get started in the video please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel you know I think I come out with pretty good videos and I'm just cute overall so I feel like you should just go ahead and subscribe to see what I come out with as you can see by the title of the video today we are going to be reviewing some Juvia's Place complexion products I have the shade stick multi-purpose foundation stick and i have the i am magic concealer i bought both of these at ulta yesterday the foundation stick was 16 dollars, and the concealer was i believe 14 dollars, which isn't too bad i am going on vacation i don't know if this video will be up while i'm on vacation but i am going to mexico in a few days so i want to try out a stick foundation because obviously i can put it in my bag and it won't spill but i haven't had the best luck with stick foundations they tend to get really oily on my skin and just not look cute so today i'm going to do a demonstration and do a wear test um if you've seen my three dollar foundation video it's going to be the same type of setup one side is going to be with a brush one side is going to be with a sponge and we're just going to see which one i like best or if this foundation and concealer is even worth the money so just gonna go ahead and jump right into okay it. so the shade that i got in the foundation stick is zambia it was kind of hard to swatch these in the store just because where they were placed at wasn't really by any applicators and anything like that and they didn't have all the testers out so there was a shade before us that i wanted to try out but i couldn't test it out and i didn't feel like you know having to go through all that jazz so i just went with this one and for the concealer i got magic concealer number nine and this is going to be my highlighting shade so first we're going to start off with some primer i'm using my sephora mattifying primer the foundation has claims to be long lasting and oil controlling so i'm going to just pair a mattifying primer with that just so they can work together but i only put that in my oily zones because this stuff just really sucks all the oil and moisture out of where you place it and then i'm gonna go in with my baby it's in every single foundation or makeup video that i do it's my milk makeup hydro grip and i'm just gonna place that everywhere else around my face all right so we are looking nice and ashy we're going to start off with the foundation first this side i'm going to be doing with a brush my good old sephora blending brush and this side i'm going to be doing with my dirty real technique sponge but i'm just going to go ahead and just swipe it on there so like i said this foundation was 16 dollars it has claims to be long lasting and full coverage natural i don't really know what that means but you know i guess it's it can give you full coverage or natural it doesn't really say buildable so that language is just kind of you know kind of weird it also says that it has shea butter and oil controlling ingredients which you know is always a plus I'm gonna be in Mexico it's gonna be very hot weather so I don't want my makeup to be slipping and sliding all over the place so this is what it looks like I turned my lighting down so it wouldn't be too too bright but this is what it's looking like and it's a little bit red but not nothing that I can't really deal with and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be getting a little tan in Mexico so it's not going to be too off but it's blending out really good it feels very lightweight on my face and with this brush i'm not even like dragging i'm really just lightly tapping and blending and it's coming out looking very cute so the brush side right now is getting a thumbs up from me Please make sure you get your double chin. You do not want your chins to be two different shades. This 
is how we're looking. Um, I don't have too crazy hyperpigmentation right now, but I do have some acne scars and it just seemed to cover those right on up. So this foundation is looking like, like I don't want to get too ahead of myself, but I'm kind of rocking with it. And I didn't put on too much so this is definitely giving the natural coverage that it says all right and for this side i'm going to be using the sponge so i'm just going to draw it on take the sponge and just blend it out this side is blending out very very nicely but in my opinion it's not blending out as well as the brush side was like it's blending but it's just hard like if I put a stripe right here and a stripe right there, that spot in the middle is not getting the coverage, which no, it's kind of annoying. But I really only use um, a beauty sponge with a liquid foundation, and this is not a liquid. So I will, I won't take off too many points by that because with that brush, it blended out perfectly. But now it's coming together. You just got to put a little bit more elbow grease into it. And it's looking about the same as the brush side. So if you see any big differences, please tell me. Because right now I'm rocking with the brush side. But I feel like you could, you could honestly get away with either, with either one. Which is what um, the description on the website said. So... And now we're going to move on to the concealer. This is the shade number nine. I'm going to be using it to highlight. Um, the website didn't really have too much about this. I went on Ulta.com, but it really just says that it is full coverage, but it's no heavy after feel. And I don't like my concealers to be like weighing down my face, but it does have this nice big doe foot applicator. So I'm going to be doing the same thing. I'm going to be using a brush for this side of my face i'm going to be using a sponge on this side of my face and we're just going to see how it plays out so it is 10 o'clock in the morning when i'm recording this so i'm not going to try to go full be crazy but i do want to see how far i can push this So I'm just going to put it in all the places where I usually highlight. And it doesn't say anything about it drying down fast. So let's hope that we don't have any problems blending this out. So first I'm going to use the brush. I don't really know how I feel about this. I feel like it's blending out very well, but it's not, it's definitely buildable coverage. I put on a very thin layer, so I am seeing a little bit of my foundation through, but not, not too much, not too crazy. So I'm not really going to take off any points for that. And if you saw my last video that I just posted, um, the busted to baddie one, this has been my new way of applying my concealer. I see a lot of makeup artists do it and it really gives more of a like airbrush skin like finish. So I just blend it out as much as I want to with the concealer brush and then I take my foundation brush and just go around it. 
So you see how that, that literally just went into my skin? So that's been my new way, but Beauty Sponge will always have a place in my heart. And now we're going to do the sponge. Okay, so right now with putting out this side, a good thing that I'm seeing is that it does not dry down. Sorry, my Alexa just went off and I'm the only one in my house and I'm, I'm, I'm afraid for, for my life right now. So let's hope that I get this video done. But right now I'm seeing that it does not dry down super quickly, which is good for if you put the concealer all over your face and then want to blend it out. Because some concealers, you have to work with it right then or it's just going to be stuck in that same spot forever. This side is actually turning out pretty well too. If you're like in a rush and on the go, I would definitely suggest this side, which I might even do myself. But when I'm really just sitting down trying to get cute, I do the brush just to add a little extra. But honestly, you could go with either side. It all blends out really, really well. I didn't really swatch these too much, but I think that the color isn't too bad. It might look a little bright on my thing, but in person, I, this side looks really bright, but it's not that bright. So, I keep going over on this side with the sponge because I'm just used to finishing off my makeup with the sponge. So, this is how we are looking so far. So right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and set all my concealer and stuff with some powder. I'm gonna be using the Laura Mercier in the deeper color, and we're just gonna press it right in. And I'm going to use my Sephora Matte Perfection Powder Foundation in Mocha Spice. It is a little bit deeper, and I cannot find my Fenty Bronzer, so I'm just gonna put it right around the edges of the face. Make sure you get them chins. If you never learned anything from my YouTube channel, if you have more than one chin, you have to make sure that you blend and give it coverage. I look bomb, like, who? I look good. <laughs> I look really good, but yeah this is what we're looking like i'm gonna go ahead and finish my face off camera and then i don't know if i want to go too crazy because i do have to go to work after this but i'm gonna just do my face um do a wear test and i'm probably gonna come back when i get off from work in a few hours and we're gonna see how it holds up outside in the elements so i'll see you in a little bit Alright you guys, so it is now 7.20. I've been wearing this makeup for about 8 hours and this is what we are looking like. I have not um, put any powder on my face. I kind of just blotted it down with a napkin. And I haven't done that in about 2 hours since 5.30 and this is what we're looking like. And I work with children so they really put this makeup to the test. We were outside, we are inside playing games, running around. So this is how we looking. Um, all in all, I wouldn't say, I would say that my face started to look a little bit shiny, maybe around like three or four o'clock. So that was about four or five hours of wear, which is really good for somebody who didn't put too much powder on. Also did not set my face with any setting spray. So I feel like that would definitely make your makeup last a little bit longer. Um, I do have a little bit of oiliness and breaking up closer to my nose, but I have large pores there, so it's gonna do that no matter what. But all in all, I'm not really mad at this foundation at all. It did what I wanted it to do. I got a lot of compliments that my skin looked good, and I was like, oh, girl, if you only knew. But 
my final thoughts is that i feel like this foundation is really worth the money the shade was good it feels nice the concealer as well is nice it didn't really break up in any other part of my face my makeup did not slip inside around i feel like I feel like I still look kind of cute, you know? <laughs> but yes, I'm definitely going to pack this for my trip. And I will be sure um, to put up some vacation photos. So follow me on Instagram and Snapchat if you really want to see how this will play up in hot temperatures. If you live in a warmer climate and you have this foundation, please let us know in the comments what you think about this because it didn't get too hot today. It was around 72 degrees and it did pretty well. But if you're in a place where it's humid or it's 80 plus degrees, please let us know what you think about it. If you try this foundation at all, let me know what you think about it or the concealer because I would love to hear also if you have any other foundations concealers eyeshadow any type of product that you want me to do a demo and review on please let me know down in the comments below so with that being said i'm out thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye